what does writing mean to me? Let me see. Um, it's hard work, there's no question it's hard work, but it's also, I think, for me the most, it is fun, I love it. It's, um, it is an adventure, every day is an adventure because you never really know what's gonna come out, even if you have a bit of a plan, which I do, but doesn't mean that you necessarily stick to it. So, um, you know, people always ask, where do you get your ideas? And the truth is, I really don't know where I get my ideas. That's, that's really just the way my mind works. I, I couldn't be a doctor, I couldn't be an engineer, I certainly couldn't be a mathematician. You know, I, I, my mind doesn't work that way. But my mind always is thinking of situations and characters and stories. I think one of my things is that things are rarely as they seem on the surface. Um, I don't think I consciously set out to do that. I think it evolved over the course of my books. I think it probably has a lot to do with the way I see the world. I mean, I, I think things are rarely what they seem on the surface. So um, I think my books are a reflection of that, that you have to be careful, that you have to look a little deeper, that, that people um, are not always the first impression they present. I think uh, having been an actress before I became a writer it was very helpful to me um, because, first of all, as an actress, I'm very aware, very aware of what makes good drama and what, what creates an interesting scene. So I know that the essence of drama is conflict and I know how to, I think having been an actress, it helps me both establish the, um, the, the scene at hand and also puts me into, I, I'm able to focus on the character in a way maybe that some writers without that theatrical background don't understand. Will loved the name with its accompanying echoes of danger and irresponsibility. It made him feel vaguely reckless just being here. He smiled at his brother, silently thanking him for letting him tag along. If Jeff saw his brother's smile, he didn't acknowledge it. Instead, he reached behind him and grabbed his fresh beer. So, what would you clowns wish for if a genie offered to grant you one wish? And it can't be anything sucky, like world peace or an end to hunger, he added. It has to be personal, selfish. I love reading in front of an audience. I think it gives me tremendous satisfaction because it allows me to actually see how um, what I'm writing is is felt and interpreted by, by others. You know, writing is a very solitary act. I spend basically all day in a room by myself, and I write, I imagine the way, you know, I know how I respond, I know how I hope people respond to it, but until you actually are in front of an audience and you hear them laugh, or you hear them, you know, or you, you see the concentration, then I know Oh yes, they're interested. I have no idea why my books are so popular in Germany. I think it's quite thrilling for me. It's, it's very gratifying. I, I, maybe we have a similar sensibility, I, a similar way of looking at life and similar kind of sense of humor. I think my books reflect the psyches of modern women and uh, occasionally modern men to a lesser degree, but um, their concerns are my concerns, so that's what I'm writing about.